everyone knows that this person did the murder and I'm sitting here thinking, but why? Why would they have murdered them? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Hello my loves and thank you for joining me, it's Kirsten. I'm literally filming this the day after I said to you guys, I don't know if I'll be doing any more vlogs. But I just feel so excited and inspired and everything to actually get filming. But I'll be honest, I have no idea how long this vlog is going to last for or anything like that. So we're just gonna wing it. Today it is Wednesday the 23rd of March, so that's where we're at. Now, in the last video that I filmed, which I don't know when this video is actually coming out, so it was the catch up video that I had last where I was chatting about the books that I'd been reading. I said I was in the middle of The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemison, and I was, but I actually finished it yesterday as well, which I did not expect at all. But again, I just feel so much more motivated to actually get reading and doing videos again. So it was honestly great to actually finish this book out. I said in that video that this book was very science heavy and that's why I was taking it so slow. And that is true. And even at the ending of this, it was still, in a way, in my opinion, a little bit unnecessary with the amount of science explanation that was in this book. But I had quite a lot of time on my hands yesterday. I read this on the way to work and on the way from work. And while I was at work, it was a really nice chilled day. So I did manage to just get this done. I will say I, what I've said in the other video, which is I love the writing style. I think the writing is absolutely amazing. The plot line, the characters, what they're going through, all of that I really like. It is just the science part of this. I've mentioned before, and I'm so sorry if people are going to be <laughs> re-listening to all of this, but this book is set in the future on Earth and we're in a state where there is a fifth season that happens and it's basically earthquakes that rip the world apart. In this book especially, I noticed it more, we go a lot more into the science behind why this is all happening. As much as, yes, that's really good for that explanation part, for me, I don't need that to enjoy it. I'm quite happy with just the plot, what's happening with the characters and everything, and kind of piecing together things as we go along. But there were times in this where the science just felt so info dumpy that I really struggled to get through those points. But once I got myself out of that mindset of being frustrated with the heaviness of the science in this and just focused more on, okay, the story, the plot line, and I preferred it. I really did prefer it once I actually got into that mindset. I think this trilogy is very good. I can totally see why every book got the Hugo Award because it is brilliant, it's so complex and well done and the things that it talks about and highlights are just amazing. Like it's so important some of the things that are going ahead because you can actually relate it to a lot of stuff that happens even now. Very very good but pre-warning about the science. If you are someone that really appreciates the science and the extra explanations about what is going on, why it's happening, how it all started and stuff, then yes, this is going to be amazing for you. If not, I think you can still like this. As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm not sure if I would reread this. It's something that I'm pleased that I've read, but whether I would actually sit and reread, I'm not sure. If I would, it wouldn't be for a good few years. So yeah, but I am pleased that I finished it, so pleased. I still haven't put it through core pile. I need to do a mass thing and also I'm not sure if I want to start putting star ratings back again. I feel like star ratings are a bit too biased because my four star may not be your four star so I don't know. Let me know if you want star ratings in the comments below or if you're happy with just this about me chatting about my thoughts and stuff and then you guys can make that decision yourself whether you want to read it or if you've read it whether you agree with me. So do let me know if you've read this series or what you thought of it and everything. I know some people find that this third book is a bit lackluster in the ending. I actually quite liked it. I thought it was really good the way it all came together. So yeah. I don't know, I liked it, it was fun. So because I actually finished that book a lot quicker than what I thought, I've decided to actually pick up another book that was on my March TBR, which, hello, that's happening. That would mean that this would be the third book I read off that TBR, which, that's quite good. <laughs> like, we will take that for a win. And I've decided to go with the book that you guys picked out for me and you had to choose between, I think it was like a murder mystery or a thriller. Can I remember what the prompt was? No. Did I watch it back yesterday to check? Yes. 
never mind. But the book that was chosen in the comments below was The Dinner Guest by B.P. Water and this is a book honestly I wasn't going to pick up. It was literally because it's buy one get one half price in Waterstones. I picked up another book but wasn't sure what to get for the offer and then the Waterstones bookseller was like here try this one. I think it was on their books to sell for the month but I really don't mind that at all. You guys all voted for this one and actually I am in a mood for another murder mystery. As much as I said like I think I'm only reading murder mysteries because of the fact that everything was so chaotic and stuff and they're just easier to read for me, I actually am in a really murder mystery mood because I watched Gavin from How to Tone Your Gavin's video on him reading Agatha Christie books for the first time and I loved that video. I thought it was amazing, I loved his thought processes and stuff, the way he would interact and say oh I think it's this person and explain all his theories and stuff. I thought it was amazing, it was great fun and it just really got me in the mood to read some murder mysteries and actually speaking of Agatha Christie I've never read any of her books. I do want to because I do believe she's got one that is the Tuesday Murder Club which Instantly I thought of The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman which is a book I've read recently and absolutely adored and so now I really want to read that book to see if there's any correlation between the two books whether Richard Osman took inspiration from that book or whether it was just the title that he was inspired by I'm not sure but it sounds awesome so let me know if you've read The Tuesday Murder Club because I'm really intrigued and I think it's by Agatha Christie and that's when you will go no it's not and I'm like damn anyway Back to this book, yeah, so this is the book that you guys chose for me, it is a murder mystery, it literally says on the front, a stranger at the table, a dinner that ends in death. Sounds fun, sounds intriguing, I am going to try and do updates where I say who I think's done it, what's happening and everything, it will be really interesting to see whether my theories come true or not. I will have Gavin's channel linked below, I find him so much fun to watch as a YouTuber, he's hilarious, he's a lovely person, it really did just inspire me to be like yeah okay I need to carry on and get filming again and everything so perfect. Wow that was a rambly intro though I think we're kind of used to it by now especially if you've been watching me for a while like ramble is me but fingers crossed I will have this book finished up by the end of the month as well I will be putting these two more into my April wrap up seeing as I did do a more relaxed chatty sort of wrap up for March already so I'll probably just talk about those then or I may just stick to it and talk about it in just this vlog we'll see as I said, no idea how long this vlog is going to go on for, but we will see what I get up to. Right now I need to actually edit the video that I filmed yesterday, which is the relaxed catch up of what I've been reading. And then I need to go to work. So I need to stop talking. I need to get on with that. And um, I'll see you at some point. Oh my gosh, I hope you're all doing well and everything. I'm so out of like not used to filming that I've totally forgotten everything but I hope you guys are doing amazingly well and um yeah we'll see you in I don't know when but yeah okay I'm gonna go I feel conflicted, like so conflicted about this book but let me actually start from the beginning for once. We're following this group of pretty much four people although you only have two perspectives. We have this gay married couple with an adopted son and from outward appearance they seem to be the absolute perfect family and to be fair they pretty much are like they've got their usual little things that every family does but nothing severe or at least not from what I've seen anyway. Then we have this woman that comes along and just somehow manages to integrate herself as part of this family very rapidly and one of the men really doesn't like this. He's just like this is a bit too convenient, a bit too quick but his husband's like I don't understand what your problem is and you know he's very much like this isn't a problem but you get her perspective in this book and you see that this is a problem but you don't know why. Now I thought this would be more of a murder mystery to find out who killed the person so it's split into two timelines. You have the events after the murder and then you have the events leading up to the murder starting a year ago. I like that timeline, you're getting more of a sense of it but at the very start of this book, in the prologue, I was like 
why are you giving away who the murderer is already? Then you find out in the very next chapter, no, no, that wasn't the murderer. For some reason, this woman who's taken time to integrate herself into their life has admitted to the murder even though she didn't actually commit it. And it's all very strange. Now, I would say that's a spoiler, but it's literally in the first, like, five pages of the book. But then, like, I'm halfway through. I am on page 179, and you find out by then who everyone thinks the murderer actually is. Now, the people that actually know what's happened have not spoken about what's happened. They have not confirmed who the murderer is. But everybody just assumes they know who it is. And so I'm like, well, if it is that person, why do we know this? Like, it's not a mystery as to who murdered him, but a mystery as to why and all the events leading up to it. So it's very weird for me because I was expecting to come on here and be like, oh, I have this theory of who's done it or this theory and stuff. And I thought it'd be a lot of fun, but this isn't turning out this way. It's literally going, well, everyone knows that this person did the murder. And I'm sitting here thinking, but why? Why would they have murdered them? Like, it doesn't make any sense. You do have the mystery of this woman and what she wants. It's very weird, like, she wants to integrate herself into this family. I don't understand why. Maybe I've missed something important at the start of the book, I'm not sure. It just seems very weird and there's a lot of stuff and you do... I feel like there is a bit of a sinister thing to it, but I can't work out what it is. I can't work out whether she just wants to tear this family apart or what, but then why would she admit to a murder she didn't commit? It's very strange. I do like it, like I like our characters, I like the way everything going, you know, we have a book club in this, which is always fun. Seeing this marriage couple's relationship and how they've grown and everything is good, but I just, I'm so baffled, like I could not tell you why there was a murder, like why this has happened, and in all honesty I would have expected the woman to have been the murderer, but she isn't because they've already confirmed that she isn't. And so I'm just like, well, what? So I don't know, I have no idea. Please let me know if you've read this and if you like kind of guessed what was going on early because I have no idea. On another side note, there's nothing actually to do with it. These pages are super thick, like really, really thick. And I keep feeling like I've gone like too many pages deep, but it's, it's not, they're just really, really thick paper. Again, has nothing to do with it. And another thing of like, I've spotted like a slight typo where they just didn't put a space in the book. And now I'm gonna have a little bit of a rant here because I personally am a lot more lenient to that sort of thing if it's a self-published book. I get that because you're doing it all on your own and stuff, it's easy to miss something little like that. However, for a book that's been properly published, yeah, one more chapter. I mean, I don't know like that publishing or anything, but you would think if it's been properly published that it would have gone over with a fine tooth comb and so you shouldn't be able to find stuff like that. And it always grates on my nerves when I do find things that have been mis like typed is a bit irritating. Although, I mean, to be fair, it could just be a printing error. Um, anyway, that's just me being really petty and pedantic about stuff like that because I do, whenever I pick them up, I'm just like, that shouldn't be right. Anyway, that was nothing to do with the book at all. That was just me being pretentious for no reason. Um, but yeah, so this, this is, Wait, I mean, it's an easy read because I've only been reading it for like two days, I think. And I'm already at the halfway point, or what seems to be about halfway. So it's an easy read and it's got really quite short chapters or it has things like this little line in that page. So you can actually stop at that point, normally because that's indicating like a jump in time for some reason. I like that. It does jump in time a lot and you have it as if, especially one of the characters is telling you the story of what was leading up to it. And he's constantly saying at the start of chapters, or oh, I should have seen it from this point or things like this. And so that's really good. I like that. And then you have the other perspective of the actual woman and you're getting into her head and everything. So I think the way it's written is quite interesting. But yeah, I just, this wasn't what I expected. And I can't even say I have a theory as to what's going on. I think, I mean, it could possibly, and this is quite like vague, it could be that the woman has something against, like she does have something against this family, but something to do with her family because there are members of her family that have died. And I think it's got something to do with all of that. I couldn't tell you what that is exactly, 
but I do think it is to do with that, that someone in her family that she was very close to died and she blames this family for it, for it happening. And so that is very intriguing. And I do want to know, like, is that true? Is that what's happened? But I just, I don't know. But she's doing a masterful job at implementing themselves in their lives. Like, it's so clever. Like, the way she does it is very, very good. So I'm planning to read more of this. I have been reading it on the way to work. And when I get a chance at work, I can read a few pages and stuff. We'll see, we might actually have this finished over the weekend which would be really good because it would be back into how I normally read and everything. So that would be good. Um, but yeah, this, this is not turning out the way I expected. But there we go. Anyway, I've rambled again for way too long. So I'm going to get myself ready for work because we have work again. But I have the weekend off, which I'm very excited about. Do I know what I'm doing? No, not really. But you know, that's that's normal. But yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to go read some more of this and catch you up with anything development wise as said i just i don't know with this book good morning i didn't finish the dinner guest <laughs> i have only got 70-ish pages left. I didn't realise that, but we're going to get to that in a moment. This book, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. So I think I said before that I liked the characters, and I think I need to clarify that, because the characters, I can appreciate the female in how sly she is, and how she's kind of trying to arrange the situation to happen and you definitely get a lot more of that and I do have a theory as to why she's doing everything but it's so late in this book that it's all coming together that I feel like it'd be a spoiler so I'm gonna wait till the end of the book and see if I was right and if I was I'm just gonna say that and if I wasn't then I'm gonna tell you what my theory was but it's kind of hard to try and say it now because I am right at the end of the book and I feel like it's getting really really obvious where this is all going so yeah, a bit disappointing. I, I think because I built it up in my head that it's gonna be a mystery of who done it and it's not, it's more of a mystery of why they've done it that it's just, it's not hitting the mark for me, um, which is frustrating. And also the characters like, yes, as I said, I can appreciate the female and how sly she is and the male for like how he does have everything like he's a bit of a snob likes to see everything in like this picture perfect because he's so enamored with instagram and everything but as for reading them i it's really handy that at the start of each chapter you actually have whose perspective it is apart from like certain things that make you realize oh okay we're following so and so's perspective they actually feel very similar um, so there have definitely been times where I've started reading the chapter and I'm like, hang on a minute, whose perspective are we actually seeing? I thought I had a lot less pages than this. So over the weekend on Saturday, I spent some time with my mom and everyone, which was nice. And then I went to my partner's house and he was cooking me dinner. And I thought I didn't have many pages of this left. I thought I only had 30. So I was like, I don't want to be in that situation where you finish a book and don't have another book with you. And I was just like, Let's not risk that. So I haven't actually picked this up over the weekend, but I do plan on finishing it today, which honestly, I'll probably wrap up the vlog once I have finished this and given the final thoughts, seeing as that was what this vlog was supposed to be about. But I have picked up a new book and because honestly, by the time this video goes out, we should have my April TBR. If not, you're seeing one of the books early. I picked up Master of Sorrows by Justin Cole. Now this is a book that you guys have seen me talk about so many times and has been on so many TBRs and I've not actually picked up, it's ridiculous. But I did pick this up over the weekend and I am loving it. I've read the first part, so it's broken up into part one and part two so far. So I've read the first 170 pages. It's brilliant, I'm loving it. It's a perfect floppy paperback as well, which Ugh, yes the satisfaction um yeah absolutely loving this book i think it is fantastic it's reminds me of so many different things but i think the one that is resonating me with the most is kind of like name of the wind which is my absolute favorite fantasy book and this kind of reminds me of it in the sense that our main protagonist both of them, their parents have been killed, both because of different darker reasons that you don't fully understand yet as a reader. And you're watching both of them as they grow up and both of them enter like this school-like setting. And um, the only difference is that 
well there are quite a few differences but the main difference is that this one instead of promoting the use of like learning and learning about magic this one instead is all about stealing the artifacts of magic and seeing anyone that has magic as evil as well as anyone that is disabled as also evil and it being a sign of this evil god because in this book we have three main gods and honestly I feel like some inspiration was taken from the Greek gods of Olympus because you have two brothers and a sister and one brother is kind of then forced down and seen as this evil thing and yet the religion that prevails maybe isn't actually as true as what they're making out so there is a lot of religion heavy in this book but I think it's a really fascinating religion I'm so curious to find out what's going on I really like the magic system in this the way it's all done through building things like you have to build the tools to channel your magic which I think is really interesting and so you have a lot of these artifacts and stuff that have been left for thousands of years that the whole point of this school was to take them away from people because they're just like it doesn't matter if they were originally meant for good all magic is evil sort of thing and so you have this kid and he is being brought up by a priest who is actually also a wizard who's having to keep that quiet and he's got secrets of his own I really like this I am devouring it I knew I would enjoy it but that was also why I kept putting it off because I was scared wouldn't live up to it and I can hand on heart say it's definitely living up to that so this is what I've been reading this weekend started my April TBR a bit early but honestly okay I could have picked up one of the other books and maybe even like Wolf Den because it looks like it's only 300 pages but let me see okay no, 400 pages so I could have picked this one up and probably finished it towards the end of March beginning of April time I didn't I wasn't feeling it I wanted to get started on April because I feel motivated to get back into reading and I just kind of wanted to start fresh with a fresh TBR so we're starting with this one and love it now what I'm not going to do with this vlog is wait until I finish this one as well as this one because I don't know how long it's going to take so as I said I'm just going to wrap up the vlog once I finish this and see what my final thoughts are which hopefully we'll be finishing today we'll see this weekend was nice kind of got to pop up London for a little bit do our usual wander around and everything which was really nice um and then back to work today so yeah like I said finish the dinner guest which honestly I've said like four times now that's the plan but oh my god am I loving this book and I will be talking about this more but I will probably be talking about that in the next vlog because I'm going to read the rest of this book then um and I feel like this vlog is going to be really long if I start gushing about this one when the primary point of this vlog was for this book it's just not turned out the way I thought it would which is a bit disappointing and I feel like I've had to be so vague because nothing in this book has gone the way I thought it would and yeah disappointed disappointed but we have 70 pages to go it could end really well but I have a feeling I know how it's going to end and I'm just like that's that's not great like we were meant to be building theories on who done it and everything like that and that's just not happened anyway I have a video to edit and then I need to cook some food and then go to work and finish this book so let's get on with that and I'll see you when I've finished it oh <sighs> good lord I look awful but we have finished work well we've just got home from work filming downstairs because everyone is asleep so we don't need to be waking them up i don't think they'd appreciate that and yeah we're just gonna ignore the crazy hair and everything i work outside so the hairstyle does not stay compliant for long but the real reason you're actually here or why i should be here um is we finished the dinner guest and um yeah no i didn't enjoy it i really didn't enjoy this it's a shame oh sorry this is kind of heavy on my arms <laughs> that will have to do okay um it is a shame because as we know the start of this vlog I really went into it with high hopes and hoping that it was going to be more of a vlog of me like coming up with ideas and theories on who's done it and why they would have done it and stuff like this and it just wasn't it was very much a you've been kind of told who's done it or who they think's done it but considering there's only three people to choose from and one of them they've already admitted hasn't done it so there's literally two people to choose from so it wasn't that much of a mystery you do have the whole like why they would have done it and everything which does get built up in this book 
It is kind of predictable and it can really only go one way, especially towards halfway through. You kind of hit that point where you're like, okay, well, it's definitely something around that. The only person that really did intrigue me the most was the woman because she admitted to the murder that she didn't commit. And so it was kind of understanding her role in it all. And that is a big part of this book and trying to get, yeah, just that understanding of why she's actually doing all this, um, especially because her perspectives were definitely the most intriguing and you could see something was going on there. But obviously you already know she didn't commit the murder. So that was really intriguing. I really liked that part of it. God, my hair is awful right now but that was it and even then the intrigue lasted for a little while but then you do kind of hit a point where you're just like okay this this just it, it's a bit too predictable then the actual ending of this book i felt could have been several chapters shorter it was so drawn out it was the same reason of why it's all happened but repeated across like three different perspectives so you'll have one explanation and then you'll have another person with the same explanation the same reasons why it's all happened they're just telling it again and then you'll have another person with again the same things but different slightly different perspective slightly more information but it's still going over all those same things and it was just so long and by the end of it i was just wanting this book to end like i wasn't enjoying it or invested at all so is this a book that i can recommend or that i would reread if you're going into it for an actual like proper murder mystery like a whole who's done it moment then no i personally don't think so but if you are more interested in the why they've done it then maybe this is the sort of thing for you but for me not really i i would just i don't know i think it could have been so much more in this book and it just wasn't which is a shame but there we go so I did finish the book. We're pleased with that. We actually did a vlog as well for the first time in absolutely ages, which again, very pleased with. So thank you so much for joining me on this murder mystery journey that wasn't really the mystery side, well, the whodunit side that I was hoping for, but never mind. If you have made it this far though, because I'm going to be going into realm of territory, so we're just going to wrap it up. So if you have made it this far, then let's put the thinking face emoji. You know that one? that thinking face emoji because you know like I said there were points in that book the where I was a bit like what well, I don't understand how I missed something um it's just that it really did drag and I feel like it could have been shorter and then it wasn't as much like twists and turns and surprises that I was kind of hoping from it but anyway beside the point thinking face emoji if you've made it this far and yeah if you have enjoyed this video thank you so much first of all and don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Social media links will be linked below, which I haven't used in absolutely ages. Um, we need to do something about that, but they're linked below anyway. And um, yeah, I will catch you in the next one.